right, welcome to this week's worship tip. Spirit-led worship can be kind of intimidating. It's something that we're going to grow in as a worship team together as we become more sensitive to how the Holy Spirit leads. You do this by cultivating that Holy Spirit friendship every day of your life. By learning how to respond to his leading and his guiding, those nudges that he might give to you. It also requires that we have a really deep well or reservoir of the word of God stored within our hearts. That way, when the Holy Spirit wants to move, you've got this whole deep well that he can draw from. Because there might be times that the Holy Spirit wants you to read a scripture or to give an exhortation or an encouragement to pray and you pray the word of God in power. So have a deep reservoir of the word. Also, be willing to step out in faith and do it afraid. This is how we learn, hey, yes, I was on the right page. That was the Holy Spirit. That wasn't the Holy Spirit. But you got to step out and begin to practice. That's how we learn. That's how we cultivate that kind of relationship with the Holy Spirit. Have people in your life who will say, yeah, man, you were right on. Or mm, you kind of missed it there, but it's okay. No guilt, no condemnation, because that's how we learn. I want you to embrace the possibilities and the excitement of having spirit-led worship in our gatherings.